look at that. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. A uh, little bit of backstory. I was just at Orlando Card Center just a few days ago, and um, I had practice, which I posted on my last video, and I thought everything was great. I was like, I'm not touching the card. I'm not doing absolutely anything. And so, other than flipping my tires. So I went ahead, I flipped the tires, I put on the back, the, the, the back axle, and I go to spin it, and there was nothing. And so I start looking, and the current engine mount that I have on there, uh, the bolts kind of sheared off on the actual mount itself, so it completely uh, it lost the threads. Um, pretty much just a few hours, a day and a half before the next event, and I really didn't have enough time to try to uh, drill out and retap. Uh, and I thought that it was time for an upgrade. And when I say an upgrade, let's move on to one of these. So the uh, JTP mounts from JTEC uh, here in Orlando, Florida. Uh, I went ahead and I gave him a call with a bit of an emergency with everything going on. Obviously not uh, everybody's running regular business hours or anything like that. Um, but they came through. Uh, got it to me extremely fast. Like, extremely fast. Like, I, don't, I don't think anybody's ever probably called them and told them that they needed something done and received something within just a few hours. So, uh, thank you. Thank you very much to the guys from uh, JTEC. Uh, obviously, product uh, made in America. Good old USA. Uh, which is something that uh, Jorge from Jam Racing was trying out. And I said, you know what? I, I can't guarantee that I'm gonna be able to do it, but the little things that you could do to try to make it happen, then, you know, uh, just try to do the best we can. So right off the bat, engine mount, extremely sturdy, um, heavy, not, not light, not that cheap aluminum um, that some mounts are made out of. Um, kind of little things that, that you notice when you see something, there's gonna be these small notches, if you see there, uh, which this is going to go on the inner uh, rail or the frame. The reason why I believe those are there is because of the same issue that I had with my last mount. As it got to the further back, there's a weld uh, on the actual frame. So by that weld being there, it actually forced me to have to shave down the old mount because it wouldn't fit correctly. And it's actually scratched up my whole frame uh, because I kept having chain issues when I first put it together. And it just happened to be that. And I didn't notice it. I didn't know any better. Um, but this mount don't have to worry about it. It's already done for you. Uh, the hardware is absolutely awesome, perfect. Uh, not that, not those lights, uh, nuts or washers or screws or anything like that. Everything is extremely sturdy. Uh, and just a wonderful product. Look at this thing. Absolutely beautiful. No complaints at all. It's gonna fit right there uh, on top of the frame. Cart's a little dirty, but no big deal. Like I said, I was not gonna touch it, and I kind of don't have a choice. So I uh, took it apart. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna get, uh, install it now. All right, guys. So right off the bat, you're gonna have to remove the uh, frame mounts, um, as you can call them. There's gonna be four eight millimeter uh, hex head or, or uh, Allen Allen key heads on the bottom, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, the one I had before was only one in the front and one in the back, so a lot more sturdier. Now I can see how, especially when it comes uh, to homestead, some of the guys are able to take the, the, the curves when you, no problem or anything popping off, and here I am um, hoping not to pop a chain. Uh, so pretty basic. Um, they're gonna, it's going to be four. They're going to screw on right through uh, as you go in reverse, and then these are actually going to go the full side. is going to go on the outside of the mount itself. And this right here, this is actually where your mount's gonna sit, your engine itself. So this will be the frame mount, and this is the engine, and they're gonna meet together in the middle. Uh, and you can see, uh, look at how much play you got to go front to back. So, oops, drop that, sorry. So the other mount actually didn't have nowhere near as much free play as this one did to be able to get front to back. So I can remove that for now. All right, so there you have it, pretty basic. Um, obviously, as the chain goes on and the motor goes on here, I have to adjust it, but pretty simple. Four bolts right on the bottom, two in the front, two in the back, and the actual mount to the frame is done. So no rocket science.
All right, so I have the motor on the base already, uh, the upper base, we should just say. Um, it's nice and tight. You should probably do this off the cart, but just for the sake of the video and just, you know, you never know where you have to do this. I said, you know what, I'm just going to do it while it's on there just to see what happens. Um, I can tell you that with my setup, uh, the size of the bolt, you definitely want to start on the rear left side, not in bolt first. Um, just so that, that you have enough clearance to actually get the, the nut through when you're tightening them all on. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it was pretty straightforward, just tighten it on. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the chain on, uh, which is why I have the drum on there still, and I'm going to line it and then uh, set the, the distance uh, of the chain, make sure that everything looks good. And then I'm going to just uh, hunker down the, uh, the mount to, to where I like it. And that's it. It's pretty easy. Thank you. 